Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And I have one movie review for you guys today, and that is The Stratton Story. It was released on May 12, 1949. It is a true story about the Major League Baseball pitcher Monty Stratton. Uh, the movie received positive reviews with critics. It has a 7.2 out of 10 on IMDb, an 86% on Rotten Tomatoes, and 85% on Google. The movie had a $1.7 million budget and brought in $4.4 million at the box office. It was directed by Sam Wood and written by Douglas Moran. And as I said, this is a true story of Monty Stratton, who pitched for the Chicago White Sox from 1934 to 1938. It stars James Stewart, June Allison, Frank Morgan, Agnes Moorhead, and this movie was nominated for uh, an Oscar for Best Writing. And this is the first of three movies to pair um, James Stewart and June Allison. Uh, originally, Ronald Reagan wanted to play this title role of Monty uh, Stratton, but uh, he was still under contract with Warner Brothers, and they didn't think the movie was going to be a hit. So James Stewart ended up getting the part, and it ended up being a hit. So, uh, and this movie, as I said, it's a true story. Uh, he's a farmer, and he does pitch for a local team. Um, he's very active. He lives with his uh, mother on their farm, and he's always kept busy. And he gets a tryout for the White Sox in California uh, because a buddy of his is heading out there anyway. So he tags along, he shows them what they got, and they like what they see. So um, he makes the White Sox team. Uh, he's getting paid $300 a month uh, to pitch for him. Uh, he struggles, so they send him down to the minors to work on his stuff. Uh, six games later, he's brought back up, and the rest is history for a short a uh, little bit. Uh, during his major league career uh, with the White Sox, which was June 2nd, 1934 to September 27th, 1938, he was 36 and 23. He had a 3.71 ERA and 196 strikeouts. And he was an all star in 1937. Uh, but because of a hunting accident in 1938. Um, he accidentally shot himself in the leg and his leg had to be amputated. And there goes his baseball career. Or so we thought. This is a very inspirational movie. Um, I love the story. It just tells you never give up on your dreams. Even after something happens to you, you know, at least give it a try. And he does that. Along the way, he meets a beautiful woman. Uh, they get married. They stay married uh, until his death. He, he passed away um, at 70 years old in 1982. Um, his wife uh, passed away uh, in 2006. But this is a great story. Uh, it's very inspirational. Uh, and James Stewart, he's become one of my uh, all-time favorite actors. He's freaking awesome. Uh, I don't think there's a movie that he's done that I really haven't liked. And uh, I love this one from start to finish. I love these true stories. And uh, yeah, I have no issues with this movie. Uh, let's see what else. That's pretty much all I need to say. It's it's a great movie. So I'm going to give the Stratton story a 10 out of 10 and two thumbs up. So in the comment section below, if you've seen this movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. And what are some of your favorite uh, true stories uh, revolving around baseball? Uh, for me, this would be one of them now. But my favorite one is called The Babe with uh, John Goodman portraying uh, Babe Ruth. That's my all-time favorite uh, baseball movie as far as true story goes or bio movie goes and uh, this one's right up there too 
Uh, also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe today for more content. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. And uh, other than that, stay tuned for many more movie reviews, especially this weekend on Saturday and Sundays is when I watch horror movies um, all day and I do the reviews in the evening. Uh, and don't forget Tuesday, I'll finally be able to watch Avengers Endgame. So look forward to that review on Tuesday as well. But I thank you guys for watching and check you later.